Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. This is the finale to the series, 18 episodes in, and we're going to go ahead and defeat the final boss. I won't do any of the bonus content, I just wanted to tell the story of Mario Odyssey. The rest is just grinding for moons and a couple of boss fights and a gauntlet of sorts. I might do a bonus video just like showing off some stuff that I really want to show off, but... Other than that, we're going to be done with the series. 124 moons. The Odyssey is, is complete. Kind of stumbled over my words there. Not the best start to the finale. But what is the best start to the finale is I got the new Joy-Cons, or not the new Joy-Cons, but I got new Joy-Cons, and so I won't be complaining about Drift anymore. Bowser's not getting away. We'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Come on, let's save those two. We got a new costume, and I think it's perfect because we're about to crash Bowser's wedding. And so yeah, we're showing up in a wedding costume ourselves. It looks pretty cool. You can actually get this costume if you use one of the amiibo. I also like how we're not just flying over to a different part of the earth, we're actually ascending up to the moon. Moon Kingdom, Honeyloon Ridge. the final area. Bowser's Moon Wedding. Well, don't you look dapper. Those two must be over there. No time to dilly-dally. Let's go! So yeah, we're in our new costume, and yeah, we have very low gravity, so... We can go a very long distance and jump very high and all that stuff. Now, how did Bowser have all of the time to plan this? Because how much time has passed between the previous adventure and now? Because assuming it's just like mainline games that are canon, the last adventure was 3D World, and I suppose, I guess, the Sprixie Kingdom could have been like a side kidnapping while he was planning the wedding but he went to the moon got this all set up then kidnapped peach i don't know it's just the time frame doesn't make a lot of sense to me now i'm gonna try to do something real quick because i've never been able to do this trick before basically you can climb up this mountain and skip a very large part of the game but I've never been able to do this trick before, so I want to see if I can do it. I feel like I got close there. Okay, I think I can do this. So, this is the real test. The real one where I know what I'm doing. Oh, I did it! That's the first time I've ever done moon skip. Definitely getting this checkpoint. It's time to go take on Bowser. I don't know why everyone is here.
Squaw! Crashing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky, even for you. Although your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters, since you weren't invited. So now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. This is the final Bowser fight, and it's pretty much the same fight from Cloud Kingdom, except it's way tougher. So he'll start by doing that, and then I forget if this was in the original Cloud fight, or at least in the, like, first iteration of it. But it's just like before, except he immediately has the force field that he used in the final phase of the first fight. And then he starts throwing out fire, or breathing fire, I should say. Just have to jump over it. And that's pretty much what we have to do for the rest of the fight. He throws out some fake hats. I wanted to see if I could do the quick version of the fight, but unfortunately I could not. I'm not the best. It took me 12 minutes to do Moon Skip. You can't expect me to be great at trying to do the fast version of the final boss. I messed that up. See, I'm very bad. This is one of my favorite games, though. If not one of my... It's one of my favorite Mario games, if not one of my favorite games of all time. You have to shake your Joy-Cons or spam Y, but it's much more fun to shake your Joy-Cons. Let's start breathing more fire. I don't know how I dodged that, or that. It looked like I went through the fire. But either way, I'm not complaining. I don't want to f die on the final boss fight. He'll hop around. One, two, three. Dodging back and forth. It's time to defeat him. Jump over him one last time, and Bowser has been defeated. Those two all right? What are we going to do? Hmm, we have a big wall in front of us. And we need a capture. We need someone without a hat. We get to play as Bowser. This is the coolest part of the game. Like, if the rest of this game hasn't convinced you to buy it already, you need to buy it if you haven't played it already. I know this game is almost four years old this year, but if you haven't played this game, 
please do, because it's so fun. Because this is so cool, getting to play as Bowser. There aren't many games that let you do that, the kart and tennis games, but I can't think of any mainline Mario games that let, let you get to play as Bowser. You technically don't play as Bowser, you play as Mario capturing Bowser, but this is still sick! And you even get to go into an 8-bit section with 8-bit Bowser and 8-bit Princess Peach. Or as I should be saying, 8-bit Princess Toadstool. Because that's what she was called back in Mario 1. I'm too much of a nerd for mo my own good. Speaking of being a nerd, in when we were capturing Bowser, you got to see his memories. And that, the, there were some callbacks to Mario 1, Mario 3, and Mario World, as well as I think Mario 64. And then there are some parts at the beginning of this game. So, yeah, this is just sick. So yeah, you can scratch with your claws or you can breathe fire. And we're close to beating the game. I almost got hit there for a second. But there's Earth. So what we have to do is we have to knock down these pillars. I did speedrun strat there where I tried to hit these things with my fire breath before I even got there to save time. Not that good at speedrunning. I tried to like speedrun this game once back in 2018. My best time that I got was, I believe, two hours, which is pretty good for a time by me. I'm pretty sure the top time at the time was like under an hour at that point, or somewhere around that. But that's enough about talking about speedrunning. This is the end of the game. After have to rush to the center, destroy this final bit. And it's time to beat the game. And that was Super Mario Odyssey. So, as the credits roll, my final thoughts on the project. Uh, this was super fun. This is one of, if not my favorite Mario game of all time. It's It's got so many colorful worlds, and yeah, it's got the basic thing of like, oh, first world is a grass level, second world is a desert level, third world is a water level. But still, they made it so charming. They made a water level fun! TWICE! If that doesn't show you how amazing of a game this is, then I don't know what will. It's just so fun all the way through. 
there were some bits that weren't as fun, and the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons do hinder the experience a bit when they start drifting. But this game just has so much personality, and I love the game so much for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Bye bye Thank you so much for playing my game!